Moto G4 and Xiaomi Max leaked, Android N to support pressure sensitive displays and more on today's daily. This is day 109 of 2016 and you're watching Phone Arena Daily, your everyday fix of technology news. The front panel of an upcoming smartphone called the Xiaomi Max has been leaked. The smartphone is shown to be having a large 6.4 inch display which is the same size as the previous Sony Xperia Z Ultra smartphone. The smartphone is expected to pack a 6.4 inch display with a resolution of around 1440p along with a Snapdragon 820 processor and is expected to be announced sometime in May. The display seems to have very thin bezels at either side and also seems to have three capacitive buttons below the display and there's no sign of a home key with a built-in fingerprint sensor but that could very well be due to the fact that the smartphone might have a fingerprint sensor at the back similar to the Redmi Note 3. The design of the upcoming Moto G smartphone has been leaked and this showcases a 5.5 inch device with a newly designed camera sensor at the back. The camera at the back sits in between a dual tone LED flash as well as a new set of sensors housed in, in a glass panel. At the front you also have a fingerprint sensor where the home button is supposed to be and right next to it you also have a microphone. The device will be available in two different variants, one which is basically the fourth generation Moto G and also a Moto G Plus for 2016. The G Plus variant will apparently have a 16 megapixel camera compared to a 13 megapixel camera of the regular Moto G. Both the devices are expected to be announced in May and will retail at a price of 240 euros and 280 euros for the Moto G4 and G4 Plus respectively. The devices will also be available in both black and white variants. A new Geekbench listing showcases a new Samsung smartphone by the model name C5000. The smartphone is shown to be packing a 5.2 inch display, a Snapdragon 617 processor and 4GB of RAM and is running on Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow. The device could be called the C5 and is likely to be announced along with the C3 and C7 just like the Samsung Galaxy A series as well. The devices in the C series are expected to have metal bodies instead of the glass bags that are seen on the Galaxy A series. Apparently Android N will include support for 3D touch or pressure sensitive displays as seen in the developer preview 2 which has just been released. As of now the feature can be demoed by swiping down in the display but in the future 3D touch will be enabled on devices that have the hardware feature. Apparently Google's planning to bundle this as a default feature on Android N since many OEM manufacturers have been asking for this feature since their phones already feature it or are planning to release phones with the same feature as well. So that brings us to a point of today's discussion. What do you guys think about 3D touch or pressure sensitive displays? Do you think they'll add enough value to smartphones and the entire user experience? Do let us know in the comment section below and see you again tomorrow with more technological news.